As I was doing my MBA um, and studying how the world of work and life is going to radically transform, and then I left that corporate world into the world of fashion and, and creativity. And there I realized there was a fundamental disconnect between who was invited to the conversations about the future um, and who got to build it. And so when I saw that disconnect, that's where I thought maybe there can be a bridge. I think everybody wants to learn about technology in the future. It's just not everyone's invited to the conversations about it. And I also think it's important that you have people in the room who are going to have to live, be, have to live with the decisions uh, that people are making. And when you don't have cross demographics um, and various cohorts, you end up having people make decisions that they're not going to actually have to live with. Um, so I think if we can empower people with knowledge and tools, it helps us all you know, have a better shot at getting our future right. What's really interesting about artificial intelligence um, is that it's largely just a reflection of the data it's trained on and the people in the room building it. So if you are not approaching diversity and inclusion seriously, you can pretty much bet that your AI system won't work for everybody fairly and effectively. Um, so it's one of those um, technological advancements where you really do have to change in the numbers. You can't just change um, having like a token person do this or that. It's really important that it's all reflected in the data because that's what we're using to build these systems. Uh, and if, it, if you're data and your cohort and your you know, workforce doesn't look like the people who will be using that technology, it won't work fairly. And you'll probably end up getting called out. <laughs> so I think artificial intelligence is going to play quite a few different roles, but one as the co-pilot to the artist. So I think, and I think this is why it's, been, it's challenging for people to wrap their heads around uh, technology being an artist in any way, shape or form because art feels like something that certain humans are endowed with um, or this talent that can't be replicated but what artificial intelligence is showing us that there are some fundamental patterns uh, that back art or that are a part of art uh, that artificial intelligence can help enhance uh, so we will start to see AI co-create um, and co-write scripts uh, co-create artwork and, and paintings and, and write lyrics of course, the human skills are still what's really, really important. Um, in fact, it's, it's up to your ability to communicate with an AI system and extract its benefit uh, to your advantage. But we are going to see uh, probably an influx, a floodgate of more people stepping into the world of art because of AI tools. So I think it's really just going to expand uh, what artists have to work with. Uh, make things a little bit faster, um, and it could get quite interesting having AI write some some scripts and, and things of the future. I personally think that NFTs, while art has been the on-ramp of the technology, I don't think the future of NFTs is really about art at all. And when you think about what an NFT is, it's a digital receipt that can't be changed. So in a world where we spend more time online, and say you visit a doctor's office, what's a way that the doctor can have digital files that can't be edited, that can't be changed, um, that maybe you could own or they could own? NFT. If you're going to buy an item from a store, maybe a, a piece, of, piece of clothing, in the future you'll be able to also wear that digitally. So what's a way to show that I have that receipt? In, in the physical world, we print a receipt. In the future, we'll have NFTs. So art, I think, is just the way that the technology kind of got onboarded to society, but I don't really see it as part of the future of NFTs. It has always changed culture. If you look at the printing press, if you look at industrialization, the internet, so I don't think technology is doing anything new when it comes to culture. It's always been remolding and remodeling it. Uh, I think where we exist is starting to become even more abstract. The internet was the first version of life being something other than the physical and it actually be meaningful and matter. Uh, I think it's going to become more abstract and more in the digital and more immersive. But I think technology has always played a fundamental role in reshaping culture, um, changing ethics, changing comfort lines, and I think it's going to continue to play that, that role going forward.